Good day, and welcome again here to Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Seaboing, Michigan. I'm Pastor Boyer, coming at you again with a brief devotional thought today. The light shines in the darkness, the darkness has not overcome it. We've recently got our candelabras refinished, and how wonderful they look. These candelabras remind us of our Savior Jesus, who is that light. John's Gospel picks up on Jesus being the light of the world. As Jesus says in John 8, I am the light of the world. In Jesus there is no darkness. Of course, in us, there is much darkness. The darkness of sin, of death. This whole world was consumed with that darkness as Adam and Eve sinned in the garden. God promised to bring light back into the world. And in the person of Jesus Christ, the light came. The light shone. Although men didn't understand, didn't see that light of the world. Even today, people don't see, don't understand Jesus as the light of the world. He is, though, true God, true man. Jesus Christ is the light of the world as he hangs upon the cross. It seems so backward. That as Jesus dies, he is the light of the world. He is the glory of God. He is God revealed, for God is love. At the cross, we see God as God is, the light of the world. That light shines in the midst of the darkness of Good Friday, in the midst of the darkness of our sin, and the devil's tyranny, and even death. And the light overcomes. We know so well on Easter Sunday, Jesus rose victor over death and grave, the light shone even still. The light of Jesus Christ shines into our lives through the forgiveness of our sins, won upon the cross, given to us through baptism, declared to us in the word, granted us to eat and drink from the supper. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. He shines even into the darkness of your sin, and your sin cannot overcome him. Rather, he overcomes it. He grants you everlasting life and the light of heaven. How blessed we are here, Emmanuel, as we see these candelabras and are reminded of Jesus Christ being the light of the world our light. Would you join me in a quick prayer? Heavenly Father, how we rejoice before you amid the darkness of our sin and the darkness of death, amid the darkness of this world even, that you have sent your Son Jesus to be the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. He shines so brightly into our lives, granting us forgiveness and everlasting life. Bless us as we reflect this light of Jesus to our friends, our families, our neighbors, and our community. Grant them to see Jesus Christ through us. We ask all of this in his holy name. Amen. Thank you again for joining me. I love you, the Lord loves you, and I'll talk to you again soon.